What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode and today we're going to be trimming both nails and the reason why I know I need to trim both nails is because the clanking on the floor I can hear it clicking so I know that it's time to trim his nails so I actually let it go a little bit long this time so that I could show you guys how I do it. We got him up here. Get him over here. I like to get him up on a high table. Uh, you can also lay him down on the ground. Uh, I don't know if I'll show you a couple different ways or not. When I first got him and he was a little puppy, this is how I do it. But now I just kind of get him up on a high spot. It's a lot easier for me, but you can take, if you have a new puppy, you just kind of, oh, he's got a big to do. But you kind of just take your puppy and you put him down like this. You can either put him back here if he's worried or trying to bite your hands or whatever you're doing with his nails. And then uh, you can go ahead and get to everything you need here and just clip it here and clip it here. Now I just put him up somewhere high where I don't have to do this anymore. But come here, Bolt. Come on. Come here, buddy. Come here. He's playing with his bone right now. All right. So underneath his nails, or underneath his toenails, you can, hopefully you guys can see, it kind of curls around, and I like to take the edge of the nail trimmers and just scrape along the bo bottom of that nail. It's almost like, I don't know how to explain it, just kind of wraps around the toe. So then I just take it, and I just kind of sc scrape it there along the bottom and get rid of that edge that's going along the bottom. And you can see the soft part underneath there if you're having trouble or worried about pinching his nails in the wrong place. But you just kind of go like that. And there's that one. I kind of just like, I mean, scraping that bottom gets rid of that nasty crap. Also, if there's any gunk stuck underneath his nails. Yeah, we're getting your nails all trimmed up. And a lot of people go back after with the Dremel and uh, I don't do that mainly because I run them enough that it don't take long and gets rid of all them sharp edges. I mean they all don't need done sometimes. And some are getting worn a little like that one I barely took any off of that one but that one gets a lot of wear on the ground. That one too I don't even think I'm going to do that one. So sometimes you don't even have to do them if I notice some gunk in there. I'll scrape the bottom of it, just make sure it's not uncomfortable for him. But you can see on that one there, hopefully see how, we're gonna take about eighth of an inch off of that at least. But first, scrape the bottom. And then, go ahead and clip it off. See, you can see that little bit, it took off, that's a majority of it. And then I kinda just work my way around. get the real sharp edges, but that's what it looks like when I'm done. It'll wear that smooth. But see, this is kind of, hopefully you guys can see that, but that kind of just stuff on the bottom I like to get rid of while I'm doing this. Hopefully you guys can tell how I'm doing it. Kind of get most of the sharp edges off. Scrape the bottom of that. Oh yeah, see ya. This one ain't even gonna need done. Pretty much just the, the front two. Right here where it ain't really getting no drag. See if the back ones need done. Come here, buddy, come here. Kinda look at them. Honestly, don't even look like this one might need done. Just a scrape on the bottom. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. There we go, get all that crap off the bottom. There we go, what about the other side? Huh? Not the other side? Yep, yeah, you can kind of see. This is pretty good. But now how it kind of wraps around and it kind of makes a pocket there where crap gets stuck in. So I like to scrape that off of there so it ain't there anymore. Normally this would be a lot quicker if I wasn't trying to explain it, but we just kind of scrape that edge so there isn't a pocket for anything to get stuck in. Let me see. You're all right, you're all right. Hey. I know it's too bad. It's a good boy. It's a good boy.
right here? Huh? Good boy. He's a good boy. All right, and that's all there is to it, to trimming his nails. He's all done and ready to go. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for watching. <laughs>